You see, many people say uh, Starlink is a kundikana because I've been on that wait list forever. Well, things might be about to get interesting because Amazon has just taken a huge step with its own satellite internet uh, network, which is now called Amazon Leo. Love the name. And if you're in Zimbabwe, you should absolutely be paying attention because this could be the next biggest scramble uh, after the Starlink one. Oh, Galaxy A56, 256 gig storage, 8 gig RAM. Slick design, good camera, delightful software, Samsung brand. All yours today for $395 delivered way, anyway in Zimbabwe. Get yours today. All yours today. Uh, uh. So can you phone in with I got you. Oh, Amazon, uh, the plan is for more than 3,000 satellites in a low Earth orbit. That's the Leo. And some users will come online at the end of this year, 2025, with a general service expected next year. So this is a very serious uh, Starlink competitor. Now, this is where Zim comes in, even though we haven't heard of any plans or timelines for when they'll get to Zim. You see, Starlink showed us that Zimbabweans are starving you know, for unlimited internet at reasonable prices. In Arar and Blawayo, capacity was reached like very quickly. People who waited even just a month after launch are now still stuck in endless queues. So imagine Amazon Leo becoming available in Zim. Every single person who missed uh, the Starlink one would pounce instantly. It would fill up immediately. Because these layer systems don't struggle because of satellites. They struggle because of ground stations. You can have 3,000 satellites above you, but if there are no ground stations feeding them data, then there's no capacity. And that's exactly what we're seeing with Starlink in Zimbabwe. Now, the Minister of ICT has said they know that uh, ground stations are important and they're working on it, but it's taking too long. Because without those stations, Amazon Leo will run into the same problems that Starlink has. So Amazon Leo is coming, or maybe not. Because one reason we love Elon Musk is his willingness to work with the outcasts of this world. The likes of Amazon are still sometimes too afraid to include the likes of Zimbabwe. Case in point, you can't even join the waitlist for Amazon Leo in Zimbabwe. But yeah, Zimbabweans would definitely want it. The question is whether our infrastructure and our policy makers will be ready this time. Because the sky is full of satellites now, it's what happens on the ground that will decide if Zimbabwe benefits or not.